by Karun Demirjian, Matt Zapotosky, Washington Post. Washington top federal law enforcement officials huddled Wednesday afternoon with House Speaker Paul Ryan to discuss a request from congressional investigators for documents related to a dossier alleging connections between President Donald Trump and Russia, according to people familiar with the meeting. Start your day with the news you need from the Bay Area and beyond. Sign up for our new Morning Report weekday newsletter. Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein and FBI Director Christopher Wray requested the meeting, according to Ryan spokeswoman Ashley Strong. A spokeswoman for the Justice Department declined to comment. The meeting in Ryan's offices took place just hours before a deadline Wednesday that House Intelligence Committee Chairman Devin Nunes, R. California, set for the FBI and DOJ to turn over documents related to how the agencies used information in a now-famous dossier as part of an investigation into alleged ties between Trump's campaign and Russian officials. The dossier, compiled by former British intelligence officer Christopher Steele, details Trump's alleged connections to Russian officials and financiers and exploits in Moscow. House and Senate Republicans defensive of the president have pointed to the fact that the Democratic National Committee and Hillary Clinton's campaign paid for research that ended up in the dossier as reason to discredit it. Scrutiny of the dossier and the government's reliance on it are also part of a wider GOP effort to look at whether political bias affected the FBI's and DOJ's conduct in a series of Obama-era investigations, including the Clinton email probe. In the House, Nunes has threatened to issue contempt citations against Ray and Rosenstein for failing to produce documents related to the dossier, which he first subpoenaed in August. In a letter obtained by Fox News last week, Nunes wrote to Rosenstein that the DOJ's and FBI's intransigence on those subpoenas can no longer be tolerated, accusing both agencies of being disingenuous at best with the Intelligence Committee about the existence of documents they had requested. A spokeswoman for Ryan, R. Wisconsin, would not say Wednesday whether the speaker had reached an agreement with Ray and Rosenstein about the production of the requested documents. Rosenstein left the meeting Wednesday evening, refusing to answer questions from reporters as they followed him down a long hall from Ryan's suite to a door exiting the building. Other Republicans have criticized Noon's past threats to issue contempt citations. House Oversight and Government Reform Committee Chairman Rep. Trey Gowdy, RSC, whose panel is investigating whether allegations of bias at the FBI affected the Clinton email probe, said last month that he was interested in getting access to the information and not the drama when asked about Noon's contempt threats. Gowdy strongly suggested that Ryan was also critical of Noon's efforts. In the Senate, South Carolina Republican Lindsey Graham last week reissued his call for a second special counsel to investigate the FBI's reliance on the dossier, telling Fox News that after reviewing background materials, he was very disturbed about what the Department of Justice did with this dossier. After having looked at the history of the dossier and how it was used by the Department of Justice, I'm really very concerned, Graham said stressing that Congress had to focus on the dossier because it was outside the purview of special counsel Robert Mueller's probe.